Welcome back crew to Boots vs. Hallover, where main and machine take on Mother Nature, typically down at Hallover Inlet, but as you can tell here, we are down at Boca, and man, Boca is absolutely firing today. We've got 17 to 20 mile an hour winds, wave forecast of six to seven foot at four seconds. It is going to be a monster nasty day. And then of course, we've got this crew. And by now, many of you've already seen this crew and know what the deal is. But today we're gonna do something a little bit different on Boats vs. Hallover. And we're gonna talk about this incident, especially after a couple days of things coming out and understanding a little bit more about what's going on. But still, this crew winds up taking a beating on the way out, but that's nothing compared to what's about to happen as we continue through this. But let's go ahead and get this one rolling because as you guys already know, this is probably going to be a little bit of a spicy one. Now, as many of you probably know by now, this Intrepid is leaving an event in Boca Inlet called Boca Bash, which is a massive party that occurs on Lake Boca every April, where thousands of boaters show up, wind up rafting together, and having a good time. And some people, for some reason, decide to do some things during Boca Bash that wind up giving the event a bad name. Unfortunately, this crew is about to do just that. This crew decided to go ahead and exit Boca Inlet, leaving the Boca Bash event to do what we're about to witness here, which is dump their trash from the party time they were having over at the event out into the middle of the ocean. Now, unfortunately for this crew, due to the rough weather conditions, the Wavy Boat's camera crews and drones wound up hanging with this boat a lot longer than they normally would, especially on a busy day at the inlet. If it would have been busy, the cameras probably would have missed this, to be honest, but because nobody was going out because it was so rough, the cameras decided to hang with them. And unfortunately for this crew, these are the images that were caught that has created a massive uproar. These images have been featured across all kinds of news channels, across all kinds of social media outlets, just showing the aftermath of what these kids decided to do. Now, the rest that we're going to talk about here, guys, I want you to take with a grain of salt because I'm not personally investigating this case, which means I don't necessarily have all the hard facts. I've only got the rumor mill facts of things that I've heard through the grapevine and things that I've been told. Now, the first thing that I've been told is that pretty much everybody on the boat has been identified and Florida Wildlife Commission and local authorities have already contacted the owners of the vessel and several people who are on this boat and apparently some charges of some sort are going to be filed but I'm not sure what those charges are yet as they haven't been released. Now another rumor mill thing I've been told about this is that the owner of the vessels and the captain of the vessel have gone ahead and secured legal counsel and plan to fight any charges that the FWC or local law enforcement try and bring to them. Again, take that with a grain of salt. I can't confirm it 100% to be a fact, but that's just what I've been told through the rumor mill so far. Now the only way I can imagine they're going to try and fight something like this is they're going to claim they were three miles offshore as the rules change a little bit once you get three miles offshore on what you can actually dump off the vessel. Now of course that doesn't make this right. But one thing I will admit right now is I've not confirmed with my good friend Wavy Boats or the Wavy Boats crew who was down here filming this day from the drone flight path whether or not the vessel was actually three miles offshore. But one thing I can confirm is you may know me and Wavy Boats do a lot of different things together outside of Boats vs. Hallover. And I am very familiar with the camera setup that is sitting on the end of this inlet because we use it in a lot of other situations. Such as this situation right here. This is another one of the things we do called the Miami Boat Ramps channel. And this is one of the boat ramps we film at. And we happen to be filming with the exact same camera setup that you saw being used on the end of the inlet on that day. And this is actually a fairly decent shot, but I can tell you this is from a fair distance right here where we're shooting. And as you can tell, you can't really see the details of anybody's faces and everything's kind of already blown out a little bit. And that's because I've cropped the image in a little bit to give you a little bit better perspective than the full size image, which is the same thing we would have had to have done on the boat as it was coming out of the inlet to get an image at any kind of distance. And I'll even crop in again here to give you that closer perspective like was seen in the original images using this camera. Again, not a bad image, but here's the problem. This is a pretty good distance, but this distance is a quarter of a mile. And I believe in three miles out, we're talking about a 12 times difference. I just don't think our camera could get the shot with any kind of detail, but we do got some other examples we can look at to try and figure that out. And this is probably the best example here. 
But this is an airplane. It is significantly bigger than the boat we're talking about, and this is at a mile and a half distance. But look at how bad the image is at this point. Very similar to the image that Wavy Boats has, but the problem is this airplane is significantly bigger than the boat that was in the original image. And man, as you can tell, I can't get anywhere near as cropped in as they were and get any detail. For example, if I zoomed in any more on that plane, I would lose everything. I couldn't even read the name of the airline on the side of the plane. Definitely couldn't see it nearly as clear as we can see these images here which leads me to believe there's no way they were three miles offshore more than likely they were a mile to a mile and a half at max but even at a mile and a half again that would be kind of hard to believe as our camera would almost completely lose it but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below thanks for watching crew hope you enjoyed this episode of boats versus haulover if you did please check out our other content we have wavy boats who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets my channel broncos guru do some great comedy boating videos there as well and as we already mentioned of course we got the miami boat ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in south florida and if you guys haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here